And this, my friends, is how you unleash the Kraken. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over on cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you check out. Hey friends, it's Tomer and welcome back to Budget Commander. I bring good tidings because today we're building around one of my favorite tribes, sea monsters. No, I'm not squidding you. I've been fascinated with this janky tribe ever since I first laid eyes on Quest for Ula's Temple and the classic Leviathan a long while ago. And with recent support for the tribe coming from Theros Beyond Death and the potential for even more support coming in the upcoming set, Ikoria Lair of Behemoths, now is the perfect time to make a splash with a sea monster tribal deck. So no more merfolking around, let's get cracking with a janky Timmy tribe that smashes with big blue beasties. To sail our sea monster deck to victory, we'll be using one of the weirdest sleeper commanders out there, Eryxmethy's Slumbering Isle. Eryxmethy's is a massive 12-12 kraken creature that taps for a blue and a green for the incredibly low cost of just 4 mana. But there's a catch. It enters the battlefield tapped with 5 slumber counters on it, and while it has a slumber counter on it, it's a land, not a creature. Once you cast 5 spells and remove all of its slumber counters, it becomes a creature, ready to dominate the board with its 12-12 body. Eryxmethy's Slumbering Isle is the perfect commander for our sea monster tribal deck, being a great source of ramp early on to help cast our very expensive tribal creatures, and then later awakening into a massive kraken ready to lead our sea monsters into battle. Our sea monster tribal deck doesn't have some deep strategy, but rather a delightfully shallow one. It's a stompy deck looking to ramp out huge creatures and then use them to sink our opponents through combat damage. Since our deck is a slow swimmer, we're packed with ways to repeatedly wash away our opponent's boards, letting us catch up and get ahead of our opponent's faster decks. And while our primary win condition is combat damage, we've got some combos up our sleeves that we can use to help us secure victory. This video comes with three sample deck lists. They are currently priced at $50, $100, and $200 US at the time of this recording. You can find links to them in the video description below, as well as a written guide to the deck that goes far more in depth than this video. Alright, we've covered what the deck is all about, so now let's talk about the cards that make up the core of our sea monster deck, the sea monsters themselves. All of our sea monsters are huge beaters, but the best of them also make a huge splash on the battlefield other ways. Sweet utility creatures include Serpent of Yawning Depths, which make all our creatures unblockable, and Grozoth, which is a mega tutor in our deck because some of our other sea monsters are also 9 converted mana cost. But the most important sea monsters are the ones that help us catch up to faster decks by slowing them down. All stars like Breaching Leviathan, Scourge of Fleets, and Lorthos the Tidemaker bounce or tap down the opposing field, letting us catch up to and get ahead of the competition. Not only do our best sea monsters regain some of our lost tempo, but the few official support cards out there do similar things. Slin Voda, The Rising Deep, and Whelming Wave both reset your opponent's boards without touching your own. Pairing that with board resets like Engulf the Shore and Displacement Wave can wash away our opponent's stuff without taking out our sea monsters with them. The mass bounce spells and mass tap spells are integral to letting us keep up with our opponent's faster decks and then clears a path for our giant beaters to swing in for lethal. While our primary win condition for our sea monster tribal deck is combat damage, there's one alternative win condition that fits perfectly in our deck. Since Eryxmethy's Slumbering Isle taps for blue and a green, it enables infinite mana combos. Freed from the Real and Pemin's Aura are both creature auras that untap the enchanted creature for one blue mana. If we enchant Eryxmethys with either of these, we can tap Eryxmethys for blue and a green, then use the blue to untap it with the aura and generate infinite green mana in the process. While this doesn't win the game on its own, we can dump this mana into various outlets, flipping over our library with Genesis Wave, winning on our upkeep with Helix Pinnacle, or making our creatures infinitely large with Nylea, God of the Hunt. 
There's many variants to this infinite mana combo as well, like replacing a Rixmithies with a Grothian Elder and any two lands, or a Cure's Follower and Simic Growth Chamber. And that's pretty much our deck. We play giant sea monsters, repeatedly tap or bounce our opponent's boards, and swing in for victory with infinite combo potential as an ace up our sleeve. To shore up the rest of the deck, we've got lands, ramp, card draw, removal, tutors, and recursion. Since we're running so many mass bounce spells, we get tons of extra value from playing permanents with enter the battlefield triggers, or planeswalkers with powerful negative loyalty abilities, since we can bounce and reuse them again for maximum value. And that's it for Sea Monster Tribal. Next week's commander has already been chosen, but I'm always open for suggestions. So if there's a commander you'd like to see covered, then let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, friends, see ya! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.